This is another easy question that's basically impossible to mess up, but there are going to be harder versions of the qu this question that come later in other tests or whatever and are much easier to mess up. So I'll talk about that. But basically, this is a proportion, right? Scott selected 20 employees at random from all 400 employees at a company. He found that 16 of the employees in the sample are enrolled in exactly three professional development courses this year. Based on Scott's findings, which of the following is the best estimate of the number of employees at the company who are enrolled in exactly three professional development courses this year? It's long for no real reason, just to kind of make you, I don't know, intimidated or just lazy. I have no idea. But basically we need to say, okay, there are 16 uh, enrolled out of 20 total, right? So, okay, they want to know of the 400 total, how many are enrolled, right? So it's a simple proportion. We've already seen one of these on uh, an earlier question in this module, but it's the same kind of thing. And for the sake of forming good habits, I would write this on my page. I would make sure that I have kind of a sense of all the units. So I would write something down to capture the units. I need to have the same unit on the top, the same units on the bottom, and now I can cross multiply and divide. So X times 20 is 20 X, 400 times 16, going to grab my calculator, 400 times 16 is 6,400. And then we can just divide by 20 to get that X is, let's see, 320. And that's it. No real opportunity for error. Now, the place where there could have been an error is they told us that 16 employees in this simple, uh, sample are enrolled in exactly three professional development courses this year, right? That's a very long description of these 16 people. And then luckily, later on, the question asks for the same thing. The best estimate of uh, the number of employees at the company who are enrolled in exactly three professional development courses this year. So again, very long, very repetitive, and you might think, oh gosh, is I, why bother reading this? Well, if one of the choices, let's say a choice E, were 80, then they could have very easily, right, the number of employees at the company who are not enrolled, right? If they just threw that word not right there, completely changes our answer. Our proportion would still need to kind of be the same, right? We would need to either set up 16 out of 20 equals X over 400, or we would need to set it up as four over 20 equals X over 400, right? Basically, either way, we have to recognize that the number they gave us in the sample is the opposite of what we would want. Now, again, they didn't do that here, but I know the SAT, they're going to do it at some point in some harder version of this question, whether it's on this practice test or some other one or the real thing, it's going to happen. They know that you get lazy with these easy questions and you get complacent and you think that, oh, it's always going to be this straightforward, but they're going to insert that knot in there somewhere. They're going to do it. So you just got to be really cautious and know that these are the kinds of traps the SAT is setting. They won't always put those traps there for you, but you always have to be thinking about them and double checking that you're not falling for something like that. Again, they they didn't even present this question in a way where we could have fallen for that trap, right? Choice uh, E is not an answer. There is no 80 here. But if it were, then we are much more likely to fall for it if we do the wrong thing because we'd have both the answer that we need, the right answer, and a very obvious kind of uh, tempting wrong answer. And that's what happens on the SAT when you lose points for no reason. You're probably misreading just those little bits of questions because you're too lazy and then you're falling for the exact answer they want you to fall for. So just be careful, be thorough, and don't lose points in unnecessary places like this. Be, be careful and you will be happy with your score.